Hey, what's up? What's up, Scorpio? This your girl, Tasha with Unstoppable. Please a like, subscribe. Don't forget to comment and share my channel. This message will be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cross watches are welcome. If the reading doesn't resonate, watch your other signs. This will not be a personal reading, but a collective reading for Scorpio. Okay, uh, so Scorpio, for some of you at this time, I see you going on a journey. For some of you, you could be traveling as well or thinking about a trip that you want to go on at this time. Okay, uh, you could also be looking to get a new vehicle. Uh, you possibly uh, may be moving as well for some of you. I'm sitting uh, like new furniture, new items, something new, okay, that you are maybe wanting. Also, some of you may want a new job. You could be getting some kind of overtime as well, okay? I'm seeing you're going to be really, really busy. And for some of you, your business is going to pick up as well, all right? Um, but make sure you're getting enough rest and you're prioritizing those things, Um that you need to so that you won't burn out okay i think that was all that i had to say so far as energy wise some of you could also be thinking about getting another bank or uh, changing your financial institution okay there's someone that feels like they've lost you okay Virgo Taurus Capricorn here, but I feel like this person is needing to make a decision about you on whether or not they want to move towards you here, okay? They don't want to let you go, all right, with the four of coins here. Uh, this person is really hanging on to you tightly here, but they know that they need to make a decision, but at the end of the day, they really haven't made the decision just yet, I feel. Uh, what I feel like is this person is just really wanting to come in, okay? Um, they may feel like, you know, there is a lot on their mind right now, or there is something that they don't really see clearly here. Okay. Regarding you, they may feel like you're kind of closed off as well, but I feel like, you know, they want to come in and outpour their love to you. They definitely have some emotions, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, this person, I feel like they love you. They care about you. They're thinking about you all the time. Okay. Uh, but there is something that is missing. OK, um, this person could be dealing with somebody else in the background. Um, I feel like they're very unhappy with the way things are going at this time. But your heart is definitely closed off. OK, I feel like it's closed off from the hurt and the pain that this person has caused you. All right. And I see you being more focused on your life and your finances here. OK, uh, like I said, some of you are traveling as well. This person could live at a distance from you. But this person know that they need to make a decision to come towards you here. This person could be someone that's married, okay, Taurus, okay? This person could be looked up to in the community. They could be really popular here. They could be in church, religion. Uh, they have a lot of knowledge. Uh, they may be very educational here. For some of you, you could be teachers, counselors as well, okay? Also, I feel like this person is getting some kind of counseling about you. Like uh, they're asking other people what they should do, how they should move towards you. They could be confiding in their friends as well, or, or this could be you, okay? But you may be kind of like, you know, hold off. You may be kind of like, mm, you don't really want to talk about it. You know what I mean? If you do, it's probably with somebody you really, really trust here, okay? Yeah, but you may feel like this person is like immature, you know, um, kind of shallow, like they, you know, they just play too many games, too many mind games. They don't want to settle down here is what I'm getting. I'm getting this is somebody that's possibly married here. They can't really offer you a whole lot. OK. And uh, but at the end of the day, they don't want to let you go. They want to hang on to you. OK. They want to have a cake and eat it, too, is what I'm getting here. OK, but I feel like this is someone that's also could be watching you as well or getting some kind of psychic messages. They could be confiding in a tarot reader. OK, about you as well. All right. Yeah, I feel like this person is really watching you. OK, and they definitely want to come towards you here. But you feel like this person is sneaky and they got some kind of deception around here. OK, they're looking back at this connection. And like I said, this person is married and they're watching you online. OK, 
they feel like you got other people that you're giving to, but you may feel like this is a situation that's going to make you uh, go within. Okay. Uh, I feel like you're really going to have to think about whether or not you want to move towards this person because you feel like this person is very deceptive. They've lied before to you. Uh, for some of you, this person lives at a distance from you and you don't really know what they're doing behind you in the background here. You may be someone that's trying to give them the benefit of the doubt or you had in the past only to find out that this person was full of shit. Okay. Because this person is dealing with somebody else. Whether you know this or not, this person is probably going to tell you this, okay? But you got some kind of messages coming in. For some of you, this person is going to call you or text you. I'm also getting this person could pop up on you. This could be in your job. This could be at your house. This person could be driving by your house, especially if you block them and you're no longer talking to them. You don't want to have nothing to do with they ass, okay? So for some of you, it's like, yeah, bye, see you, bye, Shanene, bye, Debo, okay? Don't come here without it, all right? That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, this person, maybe you and this person have some kind of conflict or some kind of argument here. I'm also getting this person could be having some kind of argument in their marriage as well regarding you, okay? Whether you know this or not here. I feel like this person has been caught by their spouse as well, or they will be. They, they may get caught sending you messages online, okay? Yeah, they're trying to get away with it. They're trying to get away with coming towards you. This person is sneaky here. I don't know why I'm getting... Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man. I don't know why I'm getting it. This person could be sneaky. Like... I don't know. It's something about their energy. Like they sneaky or you just feel like they sneaky and maybe they are in some kind of way. They could be thieves. They could have a good job and be a thief is what I'm getting. Like they may, um, you know, take care of themselves. You know, they, they may not be necessarily abundant. They may have really good money, but I feel like they still, when they don't have to, or they do stupid shit when they don't have to, and they always get caught doing stupid stuff. OK, this person could have been in jail before they could have been a criminal before or they got something uh, where people just find them very deceitful is what I'm getting. OK. It's like they they done something in the past. They done something in the past. I'm getting this energy heavy. OK, they done something sneaky in the past. You and this person could have a cultural difference as well. They could live at a distance from you. They could live in another country or from another country. OK. But this person is someone who's generous and they want to give to you. They want to give to this connection here, okay? For some of you, they're going to help you. They may help you buy something, okay, or give you something, okay? It could be a new house as well. Maybe they're going to tell you that they're uh, going to move or they're willing to move with you and stay with you. For some of you, you're going to be getting a new home. I see a new home coming in. You may be signing a contract or a new lease for a new house, okay? But I definitely do feel like this person is married here. They're giving to another connection, and that has what's caused you guys to go your separate ways here, okay? Uh, some of you could be going to some kind of party or some kind of reunion, some kind of gathering here with your friends, your family here, okay? You may meet somebody while you're out. You may meet somebody while you're out, okay? You may decide not to talk to this person because you're dealing with somebody else. This negative, this negative energy that you're dealing with is close you off from other people, okay? And you may be kind of picky, which is okay. I'm picky too, okay? Uh, but you may be kind of picky about who you approach or who's approaching you, who's talking to you. You might be kind of like, not really say a whole lot, okay? But I feel like somebody's going to approach you or talk to you or give you a look, a stare, like they like you. And you may not notice this because you're still dealing with this ass crazy ass person, Okay. Yeah. This person is watching you. They're definitely curious about you here. Okay. Yeah. But they want to move away with you. They want to, you know, uh, go into calmer waters with you. They want to calm the situation down. They want to heal this connection. Okay. But I see for some of you going to be moving forward. You're going to be leaving this person out in the cold here because you feel like there is nothing that this person could possibly offer you because whatever they're giving 
you can give to yourself because you damn sure could do bad all by yourself. You don't have to deal with this, okay? Yeah, they come rushing in here while you're trying to heal yourself, take care of yourself, pour into yourself here. But for some of you, you're hoping and wishing for this person here, okay? You want this person to come in. You want to talk to this person. You miss this person. You desire this person, okay? But they see you as the star. They see you as someone nurturing, a giver. Uh, they see you online as well. If you have an online presence, they're watching you. They're looking at your pictures as well. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, okay? But it's like you healing yourself, rejuvenating yourself, taking care of oneself, okay? It's like it's all about you, your energy, your positivity. You don't want to deal with the negativity here, Okay? 1771 can be significant as well. The number eight, also a message is going to be coming in, okay? This person could be messaging you or they could be watching you online here, okay? Yeah, this person is toxic. You may feel like this person is, um, you know, they only come in and only come in to get what they want and then they leave, okay? So it's like they're going to rush in. They want to, uh, for some of you, this person is kind of aggressive or uh, maybe they kind of like the way they talk sometimes. They could kind of have like a cocky attitude as well. Um, but I feel like at the end of the day, this is someone that will take you out on a date, okay? Uh, spend a little time with you. Uh, sometimes they may spend a night. Sometimes they don't because they got to get back to the other person, okay? So they don't really want to, they, they, they don't want to jeopardize this other connection. Even though they want to leave, they're trying to be strategic in their moves, Okay. You could be dealing with a Capricorn as well, but five plus one is six. But, um, you know, six could be significant. Also eight, which is abundance wealth, okay? I, I feel like you're going to be doing really, really good in terms of your money, your power. Some of you are in negotiations, computers. You could work at night. You could work online. You could uh, be someone that's very popular, famous, or destined to be famous. Uh, somebody works with music. Uh, production, film, entertainment. This person could be as well. Somebody's also self-employed. Okay. Beauty industry, decorators, real estate. Could work for the news as well. Travelers, education, teachers. Okay. Yeah. All right. But see, what's going on here is this person has already left you out in the cold here. But it's going to leave you up into your head to where you're going to be like, hmm, if this person comes back in or if I move towards them, are they going to leave me again? Are they going to walk away again? Okay. So it's like it's going to cause you to stand your ground with this person. Okay. You may be kind of off guard or, you know, uh, standing your ground with this person, but uh, this person is kind of like they come in, they get sex or they want sex from you only here, only to leave you out in the cold. OK, so but maybe you feel like they only want what they want from you. They're not giving enough to this connection. Uh, they're not settling with you. OK, that's because they got to deal with this other person. All right. They definitely want to start a new beginning. They're manifesting a new beginning with you. OK, but it's kind of like this person was dealing with other people. They had thirty third parties here okay which make make you feel like you know um if this person comes back in here okay are they still dealing with other people are they still going to be dealing with this other person okay so all these things are going to be going on in your mind when this person comes in and try to give you an offer here okay but i feel like there is an issue in the home for some of you guys uh, with this person, uh, their other person, they had an argument about you and they got kicked out of the home for some of you. OK, they walked away from a home situation. All right. And this could be why this person is returning to you. All right. Because they got caught. I feel like they got caught and there was a big argument or a fight regarding this uh, uh, you. OK. Or this person just got caught doing something in the home that he wasn't or she wasn't supposed to be doing okay yeah but i see you really building uh hoping for a better future here okay 
uh, but you definitely don't want this heartbreak and pain or this loss anymore. But this person is really, really stressed out about you. They're having some kind of anxiety. For some of you, they're thinking about you when you're at work. I feel like they think about you night and day, okay? This is the ambulance is here. I don't know if you can hear that, but the ambulance is here. Okay. Some of you work in a medical field as well, but be careful with accidents. But you know, in the midst of trouble, it uh something always arrives to help. Okay. So God is with you. Your ancestors are watching over you and protecting you, okay? Yeah. So, yeah, um, you know, this person has really caused a lot of burden in this relationship. But they're definitely dealing with the Queen of Wands, Sagittarius, uh, uh, Leo, Aries, that's in the middle of this connection that refuses to leave them alone. OK, they're giving your person a hard time as well. Uh, they don't want to uh, they don't want them to leave because they are taking care of the home. OK, and them trying to leave is causing conflict, arguments, disagreements, big major fights. OK, to where this person has had to leave the home a couple of times. Also, I'm getting this person has I'm getting that this person has had to go live with other people, whether you know this or not. It could be friends. It could be a room like an old friend that they may have to go sleep on somebody else's couch here or they got put out on the couch or something. Something happened. OK, and this person is going to try to come towards you, but they definitely got somebody that they need to let go of here. OK, you may feel like you coming uh, towards this person is just going to be another conflict. And, uh, you know, it's like at the end of the day, you you don't want them to be dealing with other people. OK, yeah. All right. Yeah, because yeah, they're definitely passionate about you. I see that they are coming in here. OK. Uh, for some of you, this is regarding pleasure. They see you as their soulmate, okay? Queen of Cups energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, okay? Uh, but they definitely want to come in and heal this connection with you. They're compassionate about you. Uh, they see you uh, very attractive, handsome, sexy, okay? Uh, this person feels like you're their soulmate and they could settle down and be with you here. All right. They want to start a new romantic cycle with you, but this person has already caused a lot of pain and heartbreak and it's going to cause you to go in and do some soul searching for some of you. You're going to detach from this person here. Okay. But I see good luck is definitely on your side at the end of the day. Um, some of you are really closed off. OK, um, you you may uh, be trying to figure out, you know, um, what to do in terms of this situation, this person. OK, because I feel like at the end of the day, what you want is your happiness here. But they see you as the sun here. You really desire your freedom, your uh, independence with the sun and the uh, nine of pentacles. OK. I see you really focusing on your finances. For some of you, you're not saying a whole lot. You could be a tarot reader, very, very intuitive. Uh, but, you know, like I say, this person, you may feel like they, ha they have some kind of secrets with somebody else here. Uh, but they really see you in a good, positive way. Uh, I also feel like they know that you have really good intuition as well. And I feel like at the end of the day, this person know that they really hurt you, okay? Because you ended the situation with them. You healed yourself. You could be dealing with the Leo as well before, okay? So you ended something, but this person is going to have to end something to come towards you because they've already caused enough heartbreak and pain in this situation. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn here, okay? This is someone that's stable. They have really good money, okay? They could be dealing with the Sagittarius, Okay? Some of you could work uh, as in insurance. You could be a director of some sort. We have balance. You could be dealing with a Libra. A Libra. <laughs> a Libra. Okay. Some of you could be in pharmacy. You could be a magician. You could be in arts as well. Writers. Somebody's a writer. Also psychology. Music opportunistic you may feel like you know you going back to this person is um 
you know, just not a good thing. You may feel like they're opportunistic, but the oak moss is an opportunistic life form growing on trees that are weakened and losing their leaves, thus letting in more sunlight. A very important opportunity is heading your way. Be like the oak moss and latch on. It will be very beneficial. All right. So shedding the old leaves. Okay. Cutting those weeds off to grow in new and let in uh, sunlight to help you grow. Okay. So for some of you, you desire to be uh, single, uh, live your life to the fullest of um, your ability and uh, just, you know, all about happiness. All right. Like I said, your ancestors are definitely watching over you and protecting you. For some of you, they're trying to communicate with you. You could have two ancestors in particular. Okay. That's uh, watching you here. Uh, we owe our very existence to those who have come before us. So your ancestors definitely want you to take on or uh, continue that legacy that they left behind. Okay. They want you to know that they are definitely behind you every step of the way and they want nothing but happiness for you. They don't want you to deal with anything that's going to make you cry, make you upset, make you worried. They want you to have uh, live your life to the uh, fullest of your uh, ability here. They want you to have a lot of happiness. They want you to find someone that's a good partner as well they don't want you hurting crying anymore okay stillness be calm and quiet all right uh, so I feel like right now this is about you going within healing yourself introspection reflection at this time here okay but you know there's a message that's going to be coming in make sure you're paying attention okay some of you are really, really spiritual as well. Ooh, that's too many. You could like the colors purple or green. Companionship. For some of you, somebody that really loves you and adores you is going to be coming in. Some of you could be getting a new pet as well, but the number six, you are not alone. Somebody, you may have an animal or a pet like or something like that, but you know, just realize you are not alone. You are definitely protected. Like I said, your ancestors are watching over you and protecting you here. There is something your love could, um, you know, um, you may um, have someone that comes in, okay, uh, possibly around the springtime here, but you got a raccoon. OK, uh, somebody that's around you that's sneaky. OK, this could be a thief. So make sure you're paying attention to your surroundings here. Also, we have the fox. Some of you are confiding in somebody that's no good for you here. OK, uh, it could be this person here. They may come in. Like I say, they may try to woo you in some kind of way or, you know, tell you that they want to be with you only because they want to keep you around because they're dealing with somebody else here. But you love this person. You love this person. But this person they're not any good for you, okay? They're not any good for you is what I'm getting, okay? Release your potential, okay? With the number six, also 51, but ignite, okay? There is something inside of you that's going to wake you up. There is going to be like a new, uh, it could be something that you could create it, something that you want to embark on at this time, a new idea, uh, that you want to achieve. Uh, I'm feeling like you're going to open up. Okay. You're going to start uh, getting more into your creativity, uh, opening a new business or going off of going after those things that make you happy that you're passionate about. Okay. I see your money is going to be looking really good as well. A win-win outcome is forecast. You could be dealing with a Libra, okay? Be bold and make the first move. Cancer. Um, Why am I saying cancer? You could be dealing with the cancer. Look at the bigger picture. Sagittarius. You can have Sagittarius in your chart. And what do you need to release? All right? So, you know, I really feel like that's asking about that person. Let's see what do you need to release has to say wanting moon all right uh it says to move forward with as little resistance as possible okay this is not the time to start new projects release emotional baggage is recommended now say sorry to someone do energetic work such as meditation or yoga soon you will see what lies ahead Okay, the winding moon points to what's uh, 
falling away. Life goes in cycles and sometimes we need downtime or to let go. No matter when in the moon cycle you pull this card, it's a sign that a situation has peaked for better or worse. It's time for you to go easier. It's the autumn and winter of the cycle. So what do you need to release? Almost certainly something from the situation you're asking about. This card can be very positive, but it can still be gently suggesting that you let something go and stop trying so hard. It's safe to let go and move on. So that's something you need to remember, okay? It is safe to let go and move on. Let this person miss you, okay? Let them know how it feels to be without you. Because you don't deserve this. You don't deserve anybody coming in and out of your energy, playing around in your energy, okay? It's not fair to you. Tell, tell you what. Next time this person come back and they ain't showed you nothing, you ain't spent the night at their house, okay? If you have spent the night, you know, you know how we do. Make sure you're paying attention to your surroundings, okay? If you start seeing little trinkets of women stuff or men things, yeah, they, are, they probably still dealing with the person, okay? But when this person not calling you, when they not texting you, you ain't heard from them, that's not your man. That's not your woman, okay? That's a sneaky link. That's what it's called. All right. Somebody that's just using you. But if they're going to use you like my aunt, like my aunt Barbie used to say, who who was a, a female pimp, a madam, used to tell me. Anytime a woman, a woman deals with a man and she got to pay for something, that ain't your man. So make them pay up. OK. Make them pay up, all right? You want to lay up, you're going to pay, all right? How about that? And we ain't talking about no chunk change. We talking about some, huh? Yeah, you finna be paying some bills, okay? Fuck that. This person says, I trust you. They feel like you're a power couple. For some of you, I could really definitely see if this person would um, not be so weak in their mind when it comes to this other person that they're dealing with here. I feel like you two could really be a, a good power couple. I feel like you you and this person could work. But they still, they got to, like I said, the other person that they're dealing with. Okay? So be careful. All right? They say we can start over. I love you. I dive in and out of relationships. Exactly. This person has some inner childhood wounds as well. I feel like they've done something that happened to them when they were younger. I want to wake up with you, okay? For some of you, this person wants to spend a the night. They want to spend time with you, okay? I don't want nobody else. And somebody's going to have some new opportunities, all right? That could be you. Yeah, so this person, I really feel like they love you a lot, but it's something mentally there is something mentally going on with your person. I really do feel this. And I feel like this is why come they have a hard time settling down or, uh, you know, uh, they have a hard time in their marriage already. You know what I'm saying? Um, they could be going through marriage counseling. <laughs> I'm just hearing it. They could be going through marriage counseling with their person. And it's not working. Okay. Jump into conclusions. I don't know why I picked this up. Let's see. What's the shock word for Scorpio, please? Determination. Okay. Some of you could like the colors yellow, but this is the Mashutaka Mudra. Okay. This assists spiritual discipline, transformation, and willpower. Okay. The benefits of this is. Optimized digestion, assimilation of nutrients, supports the kidneys, adrenal glands, cultivates determination and commitment to releasing self-limiting beliefs, okay? So you can have something going on with your kidneys here, okay? But be careful with um, 
diabetes, uh, too much sodium intake, okay? Um, the focus is my sense of positive determination arises from within, okay? This is the Mashutika Mudra, okay? All right? But three, okay? We have the Tramutra Mudra, okay? This is life transitions, equanimity, balance, menopause, fertility, and pelvic issues, okay? Some of you could be having some issues with uh, infertility here, okay? Um, but this cultivates emotional balance and support harmonizes uh, change, all right? So the focus is balance and harmony accompany all my transitions, okay? All right. But 41 and 14 can be significant as well, but five is a major life change is coming ahead, okay? Some of you like the colors orange as well, okay? <clears throat> Scorpio, Scorpio. All right, somebody like the colors green, teal, but breathe it deeper. Extend your breath, okay? And listen to your heart. Create a life from here, okay? Some of you are in deep contemplation, okay? Are you going to be in deep contemplation on whether or not you should move towards this person here, okay? Uh, I really do feel like this person does love you. These are... Two, two people looking at each other again, okay? Like I said, this person, uh, you know, they definitely want to come in and offer you a new relationship, a new beginning, a new start with you, okay? But it's really going to put you up in your head to where you're going to have to go within and really do some soul searching to figure out whether or not this person is, um, you know, on some real deal here, okay? Some of you need to get a psychic reading or a tarot reading. Make sure you're doing your uh, reviews on the person, okay? Um, maybe that could help you. All right, regarding your situation here, okay? I feel the need to do one more card, okay? And then we're going to close this out. What's the last message, please? Yeah, we have balance again, okay? So balancing, balancing yourself out, you know, um, I feel like... You may be feeling kind of off kilter a little bit here, okay? Some of you could have a tree with apples on there. You may like apples, but you could be trying to eat more healthier as well, okay? You could be dealing with the earth sign for your prosperity here, okay? So something about prosperity, but there's going to be a balance in your finances as well here. I feel like some money is going to be coming towards you here. Also, a new job or a promotion, some kind of raise. Some of you could be getting some kind of review all right, dedication altar. Okay, uh, this could be about you. Maybe you are someone that's uh, spiritual, or you could be into magic work here, or some maybe do uh, maybe into spells or something like that. Uh, I did kind of pick up a little bit of uh, black magic um, in the reading. I feel like it's more so the karmic, but we'll talk about that next time. Okay. Um, but I, the main thing is just really trying to get to the bottom of what this person has going on here. Okay. So we're going to do, I'm going to do one last message on this person. What's the last message that Scorpio needs to know regarding this person here? Six of wands. Okay. Your dreams are going to be fulfilled. Your hard work is going to be paying off, okay? But this person sees you as their wish. The judgment card is here, so they want to have a second chance with you, okay? What else, spirit? Thank you. Ooh. Ooh, yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. This person is hanging on to you, okay? They don't want to let you go. Like I said, the same cards are kind of coming out again here. Uh, I feel like with you, though, it's like you feel like you kind of having to stand your ground here or, you know, you having to take up for what you believe. Some of you could be, you know, kind of telling this person off a little bit. It's like, hey, why do you want to come here now? You 
already dealt with other people in this situation. You brought other people in the middle of this connection. So why do I need to, what's the, what's the point? Okay. I feel like you, that's how you feel here because you know that this person was definitely given to other people here. So this is what's going to, so right now this is about you making, making a decision. Okay, this is about you making a decision and whether or not you're going to do this, some of you will. Okay, with the lover's card, some of you will. You may even have sex with this person, okay? But be careful because this person could only come in to walk away from you, okay? We got three of wands. This person has some obstacles around them, uh, but there's definitely a decision that they need to make. So for some of you, this person could just be full of shit, okay? Um, they could be kind of sneaky, or but they're sneaking and they don't want this other person to know that they're sneaking towards you only to leave you as an option, OK, because they got one option that they hanging on tightly um, and that they're being really, really sneaky with. OK, they're being really, really sneaky with. OK, so, you know, um, I feel like if you do settle down with this person, if you decide to be with them, they're going to do them no matter what. At the end of the day, I feel like this is a player and. It's just what it is, okay? So you're going to have to take this person who they are. Like Tamar said, Tamar Braxton, she said, if you don't plan on leaving them, then why would you even say anything? What's the point of even bringing anything up? What's the point of you bickering, hollering, screaming, going all out of the way, okay, to get this person to recognize you? And then when they do, uh, they do come in, you don't hold them accountable, okay? But yet you talking a lot of this, but you're not bagging it up. You see what I'm saying? So you talking all of this, but you're not really leaving a person. Okay. Oh, I'm going to leave you. Oh, don't come back. Then they come back. Then you take them back. Okay. You got to be like, you know what I'm saying? Stand on your word. Stand your ground with this person. Be for real. Okay. Don't just talk a lot of, you know, that, you know what I'm saying? Because this person feels, I feel like this person feel like you just talk a lot. Okay. But you, they feel like you're in your head and you still care about this connection. You still want to be with them at the end of the day. Okay. That's how they feel because you're not being serious. Okay. You got to stand your ground for some of them. Okay. All right, Scorpio. Again, I'm Tasha Unstoppable. You ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell up out of here. Okay? Peace.